$6 gas prices projected by August, by the end of summer, $6. Guys, it's gonna be June in a couple days. That's only a couple months away, okay? $6 gas, can you handle that? Can you pay for that? That's almost a doubling in prices, okay, in just a couple months. That's some of the pain. Baby formula shortages, that's some of the pain. We've all, we've all heard about that. Um, inflation, that's some of the pain. But there's something bigger that's gonna happen, okay? And we are being warned. And this is a quote from Schwab himself, Mr. Schwab. And I'm not gonna play the video because I don't like playing stuff on my channel because then they could just copyright strike it. So they put out this stuff, but they wanna put it out on their channel, so it's a controlled message. But this is what he said in a quote. You can look it up for yourself. He said, we all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The, the last crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. To use the last crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can draw and improve our unpreparedness for a potential cyber pandemic, okay? Cyber pandemic. So you thought pandemic before was bad. Imagine a cyber pandemic, and he said it right here. A complete halt of our power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole, okay? I've warned about this in multiple videos, but this is already happening, okay? Let's get, in, let's get into a couple stories that's proving that these cyber attacks are escalating and getting more frequent and they're targeting local governments and businesses and stuff already. They're just trying to wait for the perfect time for the big one. So we're just gonna hit a couple headlines to show you these cyber attacks are happening currently. These are all from the past week or two. So May 24th, East Tennessee Children's Hospital warning parents information possibly leaked in cyber attack. May 24th, 2022. So that's a hospital in Tennessee being targeted and the children's information is being leaked. Here's another one. Some KVCC classes resume following cyber attack. So in Kalamazoo, Michigan, online and hybrid classes at Kalamazoo Valley Community College are scheduled to resume Tuesday morning after last week's cyber attack. So they were able to shut down a college in Michigan. And that was um, May 24th, 2022. 